Hello there and welcome to this quick unboxing video. This is an unboxing of the Ubiquiti Networks Unify Access Point. This is the model UAP AC Pro. This is uh, wireless AC and all the previous standards kind of within one. Uh, it supports old devices, new devices, you name it. 802.11 AC, it's scalable, which means you can just keep adding more and more and more of these to your network. And they work as one big kind of quilt to cover the whole area. They'll hand off to each other seamlessly, all that kind of top level features. This is just a quick unboxing video, I'm not going too far into the technical details. But it's a scalable enterprise Wi-Fi technology. This is an enterprise level solution. There is a light version which is cheaper as well. Uh, they are dual band, simultaneous 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless, up to 1750 megabits per second. Now let's have a quick look around the box. You can see on the front we've just got a picture and the basic information. The top we just have a logo. The bottom we've got a bit more info here. There's the UAP AC Pro model. You can see it's just in a sleeve here. Now here's a look at what's on the back. We can see some of the uh, management tools that you get. You can get these on uh, smartphones, tablets, uh, install it on your computer, web browser. There's a few ways you can manage this thing. But um, build your Wi-Fi network with the Unify AC Pro access point and indoor-outdoor high-performance 802.11 AC dual radio access point capable of speeds up to 1750 megabits per second with a range of up to 122 meters. I'm pretty sure it can't do that speed at that range. I don't know, I've not actually tried this before, but I highly doubt it. Uh, easily provision and manage hundreds of unified devices over multiple sites using the intuitive Wi-Fi controller software, which is these that are shown up here. The Unified controller features real-time status, automatic Unified device detection, map loading and hotspot setup. So you can do indoor and outdoor installation. So these can be indoor or outdoor installed. Uh, simultaneous dual band 3x3 MIMO. 5 GHz band with speeds of up to 1300 megabits per second. And a 2.4 GHz band with speeds of up to 450 megabits per second. So those combined gives you the total throughput. Uh, range of up to 122 meters or 400 feet. 802.3 AF PoE capable. 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. 1 USB port for optional Unify accessories. And this package contains the access point, the ceiling and wall mounting kits, a gigabit PoE adapter, 48 volts, not 0.5 amps, and a quick start guide. So anyway, let's have a quick look at what's inside the box. Slide it out of this sleeve. Just move the camera back a touch. There we go, it's back where it was so you can see everything. There's just a flap on the bottom of the box here. Lift this up. Straight away we're greeted by the access point itself under this piece of protective polystyrene thing. So here's the access point. As you can see it's in its round sort of shape. It already has a mount fixed to the back of it. We'll look at that in a second we've got here. Software defined networking which is just a bit of information about their products and things they do. Here's another one of the mounts. There's already a plastic one that appears to be on the bottom of this unit. We've got here the quick start guard which is probably one of them that folds out all the way. Yep. So this will run you through the quick setting up and getting plugged in together. We've got here a clover leaf power cable on the short length. We've got a rubber thing here. We've got some raw plugs and screws here for mounting in a, a ceiling, a wall. And we've also got some nuts and bolts here. This here will be the PoE injector as it comes with one. There is no way to plug a power supply directly into the access point. You have to use a PoE. There's the PoE injector box. You can see we have a LAN and PoE. You plug your network into there. That one goes out to the access point and powers it and gives it data at the same time. There's the clover leaf to power it in. Feels like this comes apart. Yes, it does. So you could wall mount that. 
some information on the back here, this is 48 volts, half an amp. So there's that. Okay, now the access point itself is here. Let's have a quick look at this. Oh, also side note, this rubber thing is actually a sort of plug for in the access point here. I'll show you in a second. Uh, I've covered up the information on here that obviously is my information for my access point, which you don't need. But it's just got the model and the serial and all that kind of stuff and the MAC address. This plate here is the wall mounting one. So we just undo it there. You see there's a little tab to put a flat screwdriver or tool in and then slide it. That just comes off simply like that. So here we go. This is where that rubber thing goes that I found in the box. Like that. And your cables feed in through there. That's actually quite stretchy. So you can put a RJ45 connector through it. And then it will seal again. I've got one here. I don't know if this will go through to kind of demonstrate it. As you can see there, it'll stretch. You can get the connector through. And then it will close up again on it once you put it through the hole. I'm not going to do it with this cable because that's not the cable I'm putting through. But that's what that's for. That literally just sits in there. It keeps everything sealed and also tidy looking. If I can get it out again now. Okay, so in here we've got a secondary Ethernet port, a reset button, a USB socket, and a main Ethernet port. This is the input and also power for the unit. This is where you need to plug into from the PoE injector. This allows you to link out to another access point or something if you just want to plug them all together. The reset button is to reset it. And the USB connector here is for Unify, uh, for Ubiquiti accessories, whatever that may be that you want to put in there. But anyway, that's the basic rundown of the unit. I'm going to have another video where I actually set this thing up. This one was purely unboxing it and showing you what comes in the box, what to expect. So there we go. Please check out my other video if you want to see uh, me setting this thing up. And then I might do another one as well of me actually installing it in onto the ceiling. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. And be sure to check out the other videos. I'll also link them below in the description.